Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. Azel here again. He's in mom with us, as you can see here. Today, um, I'm going to make a tutorial video on how to use flip equip for anybody who finally got it and is new and no idea how to use it. And I'm gonna get the tutorials made be on a laptop or tablet or a device. I'm using Samsung phone. Something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, first here, first you need to make a title because you can't just make a thing without a title because that can won't allow you, anyways. Let's, so, the title's gonna be tutorial. Okay, now she's spamming me. Okay, girl. I'm rec right. I'm recording right now. I'm trying to make a tutorial. After that, you click here and choose your background. Shut up, Lily. Oh my gosh. I'm recording while she said spamming the alphabet to me. Any text. So you can choose here these scenes. There's four. There's this, um, this scene. It's like, yeah, and these four. Yeah, whoop, where did that thing go? Paper. This is pitch black, some black thing, and different kinds of white shade -ish that and this thing you could use for like the pose of like, I use one of these two I just use them need some patterns and this is other and to change the like fully you click this bucket right here that looks like it's pouring you go here you just change the color like that make it darker move it around like that lighter yeah so here I'm going to This peachy color here, the canvas size, it's like a different size you want, but huh. Instagram size, any size, uh I don't really know. I just choose this one because I don't even know what it is. But yeah, here you can change the speed and the speed includes animation. That's one, two shows it goes faster and when it goes faster it shows my animation 30 would be at the animation thing like this perfectly you'd probably like yeah like frames it gives you 12 because i think 12 is pretty good 12 13 white 11 12 13 you know or i just mostly 12 or 13 because speed not just animation also speed so when you're doing this Erase it, it's not gonna change anything. That's just you know. Now, I'll show you the tools, and yeah, so this is pen here. If you move around, it changes how wide, like how big you want it. So let's just keep it good old nice. Wait, what the? That doesn't make sense. Wait, good old nice. This, mm. eh. Oh yeah, yeah, this, the 5, I thought that was 50, but it's 5, sorry. If you click here, this thing, you can change the color like usual. I'm going with black. And if you click the pen here, it gives you different options. Put pencil, um, uh, paint, <laughs> my bad, and, um, highlighter. We'll start with pencil. Pencil would be like pen, but no. This is pencil. You can probably use for what people use on flip clip for like blush, like this. Sorry, you can't see, so I'll use like more of a hotter pink, like really hot, Just like that. Different colors, and then you can change the size like this, and it'll be like something like this, you know. And yeah, do that, and you do that. Yep. That's basically it. Paint. And you can see it's like that. But if you click here, this change shall like you want it to be straight up like this, where it looks basically looks like that, or make it lighter like that. Basically changes like it would usually change like how 
bright you want it to be, like see-through, like that. But if you put something like this, then you put another top like that, yeah. But paint is different. Paint doesn't do that, so yeah. Oh my gosh, Lily, stop spamming me. Stop spam. Oh my gosh, just spamming me. Stop spamming me. I'm recording right now. Goodness. I'm sorry if you hear that sound a lot because I'm using my iPhone. Highlighter is like that. You can change that. It's more of like a square ends. And here, change it like that. Use highlighter the right way. You can, uh, the right way, I mean, like, you could probably change. It takes it forever to actually do the alphabet. Like, I can actually type the alphabet way quicker. Oh, I'm just saying. Size, same thing. We're gonna stick with um pen. Now, ow. Up here, the ruler right here. This is to change. This is where you can probably see lots of cringe or criticize, critical, whatever, complimentations where people like say, "Look at this circle tool." Where circle tool, line tool. Whoops, I forgot. Change that like that. Line tool, you can do that, which probably doesn't change anything at all. And you can, here, do that. If you move this side, you can do like that. And same for here. The middle here, you can just move it like that. I'm sorry, it sound not the Pacific, but yeah. And here is the terrible, very terrible circle tool. You make perfect circles. And this is why everyone cringes. And that's why you see lots of people in cringe cramps like this. Because, I mean, I call them cringe cramps. No one else can because it's copying. <clears throat> Moving aside. Um, this is square tool. I don't even think I call it that to be at this point. But I just call them that. But you make your perfect squares like this. Yep. You can make them become rectangles by doing that, turn them around by doing that, or even this, and make all such weird, um, quadrilaterals. I can't even pronounce it anymore, my gosh. Now, these tools up here, you do this, what if you make a mistake, like you're drawing something, then, whoops, I didn't mean that, then you click here and remove, and then you can do that put back. That's basically it. Here is to copy and paste. Let's say you would say, and when you do that, you can click there, and you click here to add another frame. Oh my gosh! Stop spamming, spamming me, or I will block you, mean bean. And then you add another frame here, and you click this button, which will become available, and do that. Like that. See? Okay, you know what? I will... Okay, can I just please... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I thought I was recording from the iPhone. And I'm like, oh, no, it's shoot her name. Okay. How do I block her? I don't know yet. Okay, wait. I think I do that. Wait. Here, I'm just turn that off. And then I think it'll shut up. Right? I'm not sure. But yeah, but if you click here, sometimes you might have to press and hold. You can have the same option. This button, you click there, you just add a frame in the middle, like a blank frame. Here, same thing but the other direction. In the middle is delete the garbage. And it will ask you the selected frame will be removed and you can click remove or cancel which will remove it well it's pretty awesome and remove yeah you can just do everything else now uh now we have the drawing sir okay lots of tools here okay what well, if you make a mistake and you want to erase like these things need to be shut up that and to get rid of this fade part Go here and do that and change. Ugh. I can't make her shut up. Oh my gosh. No. I'm sorry. 
change the side and this is basically kind of the same as for um the uh paint i forgot the word paint in the dictionary oh my gosh and this thing i don't what does this do oh yeah it shows how visible you want it to be i think let's say you want to erase something well, I actually never knew that how this worked. That shows. Oh yeah, that does just change how deep you want to erase like that. Then you can make more layers. Like, well, let's keep pressing and it'll go away like that. But then, yeah. Here is, if you click it again, you can't do anything. Oh my gosh, Lily, I'm Lily, Lily, whatever. Okay, let's say you're making a smiley face. Copy like that, paste like that, second frame, just slide it, or just tap the neck, the other frame. Write your finger around, it'll show this, and go here. Like that. Okay, sometimes that happens. Ignore that, please. And then after that, you can control it, make it like, go down like that, go wide, or like that, or like, change the side. Anything. Yeah. Just like that. Um, now bucket tool. Pe lots of people use that, so it's just... Okay, I'm using circle tool. This is just an example, so don't overreact. My gosh. You can change the color, just gives you blue. You can change the shade, like the actual pen line or the inside. You click here, you change the color, whatever. I don't care, just, yeah. Do that. You can also change the color for the outside too, but there's certain effects that can happen here, but you can discover that yourself because I'm totally you. Here is a writing tool where uh, click there, you can change what kind of font you want, like Battle Star. Click there, change the color, and then the lines you write like high because that's the best example to use for everything because it is, I guess, I don't care. And here, change the size like that or you don't have to use that you can just use this Le oh my girl i'm making a, a tutorial of flip clip okay everything has something you expect me to hurry up oh my god trust me i swear i'm i swear i'm not, I'm not talking to myself except the way i am but okay now animation wait no not that sorry i don't have a script if you click this line, project settings, where you can go back here in the beginning and change something like title or anything else, and just say change it. Frame viewer. Here. Plant. Look. Lily, shut up. No, I, no. Shut up, please. Shut up, please. <laughs> Shut up, please. So, click frame viewer. You click it. Like, if you just click a certain frame, that you can just go there. Press and hold the frame. You click that. It'll, like, new frame before. Or click there after. Or between. All right, oops. Or between all. Would be like that. Yeah. And then, let's say, click here, and you click all of these. You can click that button to delete. That's add, that. So, do that. And then you can click here to go forward or behind, like that. And you want to delete all of them, just do that and do that. Or you want to undo something, same thing, like that. Like that, like that. Now, here, two things that are the main focus, probably. There's a new update to Flip a Clip. They added like five months ago. Who knows? I'm totally to check. This is the audio. This is the update. Audio. Remember, like 2017, um, Flip a Clip made a challenge, like an animation meme, and see who win, and someone won, and they add this audio thing. And then back then, you couldn't. The only video you find how to add audio on Flip a Clip 2018 because that's when the challenge was a thing when you can add audio. But now Flip a Clip added it back and it's apparently a new update again. 
you can do lots of things here. I'm not, I don't even have, I don't want to explain because I'm lazy. But you can just go on the YouTube channel Flip a Clip and find out how to use it yourself. Okay, just stop, stop. That's to go back. Now, the layers. You know, let's say you were doing a sketch here. Like, gray is also a sketch color. Cause, yeah. Unless you can just use a second frame because then use that frame, it'll turn to gray, right? You can just do that, but anyway, I need to shut up. Okay. Make sketch some beautiful head. It's gonna be a beautiful lady like that. Mm hmm. This is how everyone makes sketches. It's so terrible. Just, I'm at hot. Like that. Ah, beautiful. Wait, what the heck? I don't, that's just that sometimes with me. Click here. You can add another layer. And you go on that layer. 100. Click that button to remove it. And make it disappear or that. Or you can just press and hold. Move it somewhere and see how light or dark you want it to be like that. And you slide aside, you can lock it, which means you can't go on the layer anymore, but you can undo that. So you just go on, click in there, unlock it. Slide again, or you can just remove that layer. Now, layer two, same thing, but you can also change the title. Like, I want layer one to be layer one. Do you? Or layer two, mom, fat. Yeah. Okay, and now layer two, you can just draw over it like that. But if you're erasing, don't worry about accidentally erasing the sketch. Wait, what? I can't, can't really, work. I can't really re erase. Can I, can I please erase it? I don't know. That happens. So you can do that. You can't. It won't affect the layer one. That's okay. Like probably lots of people who actually have been animating and drawing for like a long time know that. But, like, some people don't even know layers and why people, what it means and stuff. Now you get that. Now the big confirm is, um, the big confirm, the thing everyone wants to know is the animation. Because, obviously, Flipple Clip is all about animating, but animation includes drawing, so you gotta learn how to draw, too. So, went to the basics, I learned how to use the tools and how to work everything, and drawing... Now you know, and yeah, also I should just press and hold slowly. The lines kind of do that, but that doesn't matter. Now, uh, 70, yeah, 7, whatever. Animation is pretty easy. You know, I can go on different frames, add more frames than that, and people say the rules. Add more frames instead of just like three frames, noob. <laughs> you do that. And copy, do that, do that. You can kind of see me doing it. Turn that up. And if you press and you leave like that, do that. Make another frame and click this button. It goes back up and doing that. And you can do that multiple times. And then you can, I guess you, I don't know if you can consider it tweening. No, it's not tweening, no, no. Well, yeah. And you see you got animation. Click the play button. You can do that. Change speed. Add audio. Change the audio. If you don't if you don't want to like repeat like that, you can go on frame viewer and change that. I'm gonna put three frames. Copy paste all. Then you can do that and move the frames around if you like. And just do that. But if you put two frames together, they'll follow you like that. And you know you can get really annoying. And there you go, some animation. Not the best, but it's in the tutorial. Now you can do your own thing, like eye blinking, all that stuff. I don't care. Anyways, thanks for watching the tutorial. I really hope this helped you. And I really hope my voice was actually useful and you can actually hear because my voice is stupid and I hate it. Okay, thanks for watching and bye bye.